Hey guys, James here with Johnson RV with Puyallup, Washington. Today we're looking at a 2015 Travato, and this one is one of our used products, which is rare because Travato is kind of a new product to us. Uh, nice thing about it, this is going to be on the ProMaster chassis with the front wheel drive to it. You can see that RAM symbol when we get in the interior, but we're going to walk around the outside first. So the first thing we're taking a look, we have a nice big, it's a screen door that gets equipped with, it's a real nice feature. Okay, it's a sunny day like today, we're going to let the breeze come in. We also have a nice electric step getting in there and this little metal bar we see is completely for support of getting in. Um, above us we have that Carefree Colorado awning. That's a punch of a button will extend out for us and we'll have two straps either here or stake them completely just straight down. Make your way towards the back. And the doors open up for us. We're going to see our backup camera integrated in the very, very top of it. We also have all of our Kurt hitch down there and a propane connection. So great idea was to stick the barbecue right here and use the your chassis mount of propane in this spot and do a little tailgating if you like. You also have fresh water right here and a 110 outlets in case you want to have the TV for the game going, golf, what have you. We all kind of it all in one nice central spot. Working way to the driver's side. Exhaust for our generator. We do have some fully self-contained units. So we have fresh water, generator, everything we're going to want. Connection of propane, city water fill, and again if we're going to bring a small satellite with us we can plug it in right there or if your park has cable. It's a great spot to it. Let's see. We're going to walk just a little bit to the front to hang, give you some visibility to it. This is on that ProMaster chassis, which is a little bit wider and stouter, so it's a really good stabilization to it. We see how far down this windshield goes. Really easy for visibility. This is not, it's under 20 feet, so it's really int not intimidating to drive. Let's head inside and take a look at it in there. So we're inside the Travato, and the first thing we're going to look at is just the front cab area. This is going to be on, the, again, that ProMaster chassis. You see that RAM symbol above. One more time, this is going to be front wheel drive, a little different piece to it, 3.6 liter V8 with a front wheel drive with 280 horsepower. This guy can go for it if you like. <laughs> these two front wheels, these front seats, excuse me, they'll spin around for us. And they kind of join this table area. Nice piece about it is we have a 360 piece that will spin out right here. Just kind of give us an additional spot. And this all can drop into a bed pretty easily. And how we do that, we drop this piece down and when these spun around and collapse, we have a nice, two people can sit, be about six feet total. Um, right above us we have our King Jack antenna. We also have our Jensen Power radio for DVD player and of course our Jensen TV to complement it. On the other side of this wall right over here we have our little command center. This is where we have our generator, our fresh water, start and stop, thermostat. Everything is in one kind of situated little spot which is nice. All the LED lights you're seeing up here again are LED lights so they're going to be real nice and energy efficient to it. A lot of storage throughout. This is one piece we have right here. So there's a big storage we can put a lot. That's our one more cushion we have when we're making that bed area. And then right above we have a piece that can pull out. Storage right there. And then we have the fridge right here we'll open up for it. This is a little bit bigger than a typical one you normally see. That fridge is something to be both gas and electric. And above there is the microwave to it. And straight across we have the kitchen arrangement. This is going to be nice and recessed, so our two burners right here, our sink, we lift these guys up. We can use them, but we're not using it. We have additional counter space, our vent of course above, and then notice these latches. Uh, right now this is locked, it's going in transit, nothing's going to move, but as soon as you want it, push one more time, pull it out. Real nice system. And again, in the kitchen spots we have a nice vent right up here, a fantastic fan. Now we're in switch spots and Kevin Kevin, what's different in this coach, we're 20 feet. And usually you can get the half bath. We have a full dedicated bathroom size here. You can actually walk in and close the door for privacy of the shower and or the restroom. We're not limited to putting bikes in this spot when we're not using it. A lot of overhead storage up here. And something they knew what they did with 2015 is they added the drawers right down here. So we have storage down here that pulls off the side and these drawers. However, we're not using that. We want to go to bed. Take off this clip right here. This piece rests down. Voila, nice big bed. And again, we're only 20 feet. If you guys have any questions on us, feel free to give us a call at 253-286-0833. And if you call, be sure to ask for James.